Happy Friday Eve, my bold and the beautiful fans. It's Thursday. We're inching closer and closer to the end of the week. Hopefully, you're having a terrific one. We still have some drama going down in LA. I'm going to give you some of these highlights, and then we'll unpack this episode. First, we see Zenday tell RJ not to blame Luna. Steffi is worried about Deacon's theories, and Deacon asks Lauren about sugar. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and impact this L.A. drama for April 18th. So, we're over at the Forrester CEO office where we have Steffi and Finn finding solace in each other's arms amidst all this chaos. Now, Finn's unwavering support for Steffi shows some stability, even though Deacon's persistent doubts cast a shadow over Steffi's happiness. Now, their intimate moment is interrupted by Finn discussing Deacon's conspiracy theories of a stark reminder that Sheila is still alive and Steffi, like, look, I saw who was in my house who I actually unalived. And yeah, it was Sheila. So I don't know what Deacon is talking about, but he need to go take several seats and stop talking about it. Well, Steffi, not so fast because I don't think whoever that was, which is probably Sugar, yeah, it wasn't Sheila. As the episode unfold, we see Eric and Lauren finding comfort in each other's company, reveling in the newfound peace of Sheila's so-called departure. Now, their shared history with Sheila binds them together, serving as a testament in face of adversity. Yet, Deacon's persistent inquiries are threatening to unravel this serenity because Eric is like, well, Deacon loved this woman. And she was like, I can't see how he would love a psychopath. Well, the thing is, is that she, meaning Sheila, was one way around Deacon, but you all brought the awful side out of Sheila. The air is thick in the design room with tension as Zende and Poppy attempt to mend the broken trust with RJ. Now, Luna, which is, of course, the center of this whole storm, is confronted by RJ, who is grappling with conflicting emotions. Zende is burdened by guilt. He actually takes accountability, seeking forgiveness from RJ, emphasizing Luna's innocence in this whole debacle. Now, RJ's wounded heart is struggling to reconcile love with betrayal, leaving the future of their relationship hanging in the balance. And finally, across town at Il Giardino, Deacon's obsession with uncovering the truth about Sheila's demise is consuming him. Lauren shows up trying to be the voice of reason, urging him to just let go of his delusions, get off of the Lulu Island, and embrace the newfound tranquility in Sheila's absence. And it was interesting that Deacon says, how's things going on in Genoa City? Lauren has had the nerve to say peaceful when we know Jordan is over there destroying two families and she's part of helping Nikki with her drinking over there while working at Newman Media when she should be working at her own company. You call that peace, Lauren? Anyway, Deacon's relentless pursuit of answers leads him down a dangerous path and as she walks away to tell him to just let all of this go, he says, who's sugar? Tell me, I need you to tell me who this sugar person is and Lauren look like a deer in headlights. Okay, so there you have it. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What did you think about RJ holding Zende accountable? And look like Zende taking accountability for the fact that, yeah, even though she was in his bed, he should have turned around and called RJ. Steffi is still worried about Deacon's theories, but those theories are about to be a fact. And Deacon asked Lauren about sugar, and she looked like a deer in headlights because we all know she knows sugar. Sugar. Make sure you also check out the Young and the Restless recap for today as well. We see Danny, yeah, and Cricket look like they're not going on to it together. We see Connors struggling, especially with their parents, with all of this guilt and trauma. And then Lily, Lily, Lily is looking petty, petty, petty. And everybody in that office is telling her so. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. And until the next one, we'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.